So perhaps you do an experiment, maybe you're measuring the length of a pendulum and the time for an oscillation. And you record some data like this, so you've got your repeats and you've got your average. Now, something that uh, sometimes kind of sort of tends to stick out when you actually have a table of data is that some of your results don't fit the pattern. It might be, for example, as you look at this one here, you'll see that there's uh, maybe one outlier. This one here at maybe 1.42. And what that then does, it maybe pushes up the average for that set of results. You spot an anomaly, don't just kind of cross it out and pretend it didn't happen, okay? Uh, what you can do is you can cross it out and ignore it from your calculations. So it might be that you just work out the average of these two numbers, which might be 1.09 seconds. The other thing you can do is also you can redo that experiment, okay? Don't just like ignore it, uh, identify it, redo the experiment maybe a, th a fourth time, and you can add that then to your, to your final kind of values. What you can then do is you can plot your data because, you know, most of this looks fairly kind of okay, I think, at the moment. Uh, maybe you can then plot your data uh, to see if you have any more anomalous results. So anomalous results are really ones that don't fit the pattern of data. And that's why the more data points that you have, the more chance you have of seeing an anomalous result. But if you do get one, it's nothing to worry about. It's just worth uh, maybe circling it, identifying it, uh, and then you can kind of move on and maybe talk about this later in a discussion. So really, uh, two ways. You can either discard it from your initial results to work at a better average, or maybe sometimes you don't see it till you actually point, pot, plot your points at the end. In that case, an anomalous result, the outlier, is one that you just discard, uh, and then you don't include that when you're maybe trying to draw your line to best fit. So hopefully that all makes sense. Thank you.